All right, and with that, welcome everybody to another edition of the Monthly Beatdown Podcast, where I give a basically a channel update once a month to give everybody the uh, the news and what's going on with the channel and its future and all that loveliness. So yes, welcome everybody. We are here on uh, October second, twenty eighteen. For the October 2018 channel update, this is episode 25 of the Monthly Beatdown Podcast. Can't believe it's already been that long already, but yeah, we've been doing uh, these podcasts for about uh, 25 episodes already, which is pretty crazy because I started doing these around, uh, uh, I guess, September of 2016. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's already been almost, uh, it's been two years, I guess I could say, since we've been uh, we've been doing these podcasts which is pretty freaking awesome so uh, I, I like how the, all everyone actually really likes the whole podcast thing and whatnot so i appreciate everybody who uh always comes by for all this or if you watch this on youtube in the future um yes thank you for all that i uh really enjoy enjoy doing these um like i said before in the past i've only always used to do these as basically a uh, a website update kind of thing but now i do them live now so that's i kind of prefer doing them a little live now uh compared to just uh, writing down an article uh, once a month and whatnot so yeah i think it's easier this way uh compared to uh <laughs> sitting down and just thinking about what to write and type and whatnot so yeah it's been pretty fun to doing these podcasts for over 25 episodes already so yeah um, but today we have a lot to talk about for the channel and whatnot because this is uh the october 2018 channel update and uh, october is normally a pretty busy month for this channel as a whole uh, that regards basically as always we are in the middle of the start of the new season as we have to talk about uh, when stream schedules and all that stuff is for the month. We also have our uh, information about um, um, about the uh, the seven year anniversary show which we'll be talking about more of that here today on this podcast as well. Uh, we got some news about Mario Kart Sundays and whatnot, in case you haven't heard the news when it comes to all that loveliness of Mario Kart Sundays, so we'll be talking about that as well. Um, and then we'll also be talking about uh, what happened in the past month of September, which was a pretty uh, quiet month just because I was basically on a bit of a hiatus and whatnot, but we'll talk about a bit of that. Um, and then we'll also have our uh, highlight of the month, showcasing the best highlight that happened in the month of September of 2018. So we'll showcase that here as well. We also have our caster of the month as well, our nomination. Somebody I nominated for the caster of the month for the month of um, of, uh, of, of October 2018. And uh, we also will have a Q&A session and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff to talk about here today. Um, so yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I think we shall get rolling as we, as they would say here, so let's dive in uh, to our podcast for the evening. So to start things off as I always do. Um, we always like to start off the podcast with a subscriber shout out. Uh, the subscriber shout out is basically a little shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to be here on Twitch TV. Uh, you do get a once a month uh, shout out for people who are are subscriber to my channel. So this is where you get a nice little thank you for being a sub to my channel. Um, the past month or so so yeah so um let's quickly go through this right here right now so uh thank you uh to billy 3802 for it looks like he's over a year now which is pretty crazy since june 29 2017 which is pretty crazy that's a long time so thank you very much for that grady dose uh since june 29 2017 pretty awesome thank you very much for that uh lemon lizard since september 10th 2017 uh co paylord October 15, 2017, so that was right, right after the uh, anniversary stream last year, so thank you very much for that one. That's almost been a year already, that's crazy. Uh, thank you to 5 uberpone 2 for 9 months in a row, I do appreciate that. Uh, Captain Paladin LP for 6 months in a row since April 14, 2018, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Supermean2099 for 4 months in a row uh, since June 7, 2018, according to this thing, thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you to Edgehead011 for a month. Uh, I think he was gifted one uh, not too long ago, so thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you to Random Reject for a one month sub as well. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you to Infinity uh, for uh, 24 days ago, I guess is what it says. So hmm, that's interesting. Not sure if this is all up to date or whatnot, but just according to the site, this is how long people have been subbed for. So thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you to Cold Sax uh, for 23 days ago. I think that was also a gift sub, but regardless, thank you for being a subscriber and whatnot. Uh, thank you to Staffo45, who was also gifted a sub. Thank you to Takata, also was gifted as well. Thank you to the The Blue Explosion, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Kippy for uh, 
sub as well. It says 22 days ago, but I think that's probably wrong just because I think uh, I think if you got gifted one, um, it, it probably changes uh, how long you've been subbed for for some reason. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Too bad the site doesn't actually uh, update to say how long you've actually been subbed for, but that is what it is. Uh, thank you to Apparition. Uh, thank you to Dual Vision. Uh, thank you to Salty Dan. Thank you to Twin Sanity Talks. Uh, thank you to FD907. Uh, thank you to Evil Heal Glorious. Uh, thank you to Pikachu or P P or Pika Chewy Chips Ahoy. It's a tongue twister right there, but thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Kirk64. Thank you to zero or 007565, aka Volano. Thank you to Beatdown Bot, my own channel bot sub to me, but that was a gift sub, so thank you to the, the person that did gift the sub there. Uh, thank you to Matrix Mandible 5432, which was also a uh, gift sub there. Thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you to Tampa Bay Boy 44, which was also a uh, gift sub. Uh, thank you to Midnight Spy. Thank you to Rasher 24, and thank you to SNES Freak. So thank you everybody for all the subs uh, in the past month here. Like my goodness, um, I know last month was actually um, uh, the, the gift sub <laughs> month of. Um, is it called? Uh, sub September, I guess is what it's called. Uh, so thank you for everybody who uh, was gifted a sub, or hell, even just sub during September. I do appreciate that. Um, this is probably the most subs I've had in... ever, I think. I don't think I've ever hit 30 subs at one point before, so uh, I don't expect that number to stay, but uh, thank you for everybody who uh, did gift a sub or did sub during the month of September. I really do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, if you always would like to subscribe to my channel, as, as I've always said, it's always optional to do, so if you'd like to, you're more than welcome to sub to me. It's the best way to support me as a caster here. You do get benefits for being a sub. Uh, like as I've always said, you always get emotes to be used here on my channel, all over on Twitch as well. Uh, you also will get um, a nice little sub badge by your name. Uh, I forgot to mention that last month, because last month we actually introduced these sub badges. Uh, so now you have a sub badge by your name for being a subscriber now, so... Uh, the more you are subbed, uh, the, the better uh, of a, a badge you do get. So there's like a, I do have a one month, I have a three month, I believe there's a six month as well, and I think there's a one year so, uh, badge as well. So uh, just because I'm the Twitch affiliate, uh, that's as much as I can do. Uh, I know Twitch partners can get like two, three, four, five years and all that stuff, uh, but because I'm affiliate, I actually can only go up to one year at the moment. So um, yeah, so if you are subbed for that long, you do get a nice little color. Uh, badge by your name there, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, as well, you also don't get ads on the stream at all uh, if you don't use ad blocker and that because uh, Twitch has changed their um, their stance when it comes to uh, advertising on streams and whatnot. Um, so now from now on, you, whenever you come to my channel, if you are a sub, you actually don't need to uh, worry about ads showing up because if you su support a caster that you like or are subscribed to them, you actually don't get ads at all during their stream and whatnot. Um, at this time, I don't believe I make uh, ad revenue at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. But if you are sub to me regardless, as I believe if you don't use ad block or not, um, the ads will show up when you load up the video for the first, uh, first time you enter the channel and whatnot. So. Um, if you are subbed, you actually don't get that at all, so that's pretty cool. Um, you also get benefits in the Discord server as well. If you are in my Discord, you do get a nice little uh, um, subtitle, I guess you can call it, uh, for being a subscriber in the in the uh, the chat room or just the the server or whatever. Uh, so you get that as well, and also you get this this monthly shout out where I give a shout out to everybody who is a sub uh, for the past month. So yes, um, as always, thank you very much for the subscriptions. As always, I do appreciate that. And I hope it goes towards some pretty awesome things uh, for the channel as a whole. <laughs> so thank you very much once again for that. So, uh, anyways, we'll, it's gonna, we're moving on right here now to our first topic of tonight, and that is our month recap, where we look back at the past month of uh, casting here on the channel. In case you haven't been following the channel and whatnot, uh, so we'll talk about all the stuff that happened in the month of September of 2018. So let's start off with some Let's Play nights. As uh, we were on our final game for Let's Play Nights, in fact, for the season of that was season number seven, and that was with Nino Kuni 2. Uh, actually, the first weekend of September is actually when we actually finished our play through that game, and uh, uh, I had a fun time playing through it. But I think it's going to be one of those games uh, that are not very enjoyable to watch when you are a viewer, uh, just because this is one of those games that are very grind heavy and whatnot. Especially since you have to grind for like levels and whatnot, you have to grind doing. Uh, uh, side questing and all that stuff, um, and also when it comes to uh, leveling up your kingdom and whatnot, especially since you have to go out and just mess around in the world 
to wait for money to get uh, grinded for your kingdom so then you can use that currency to uh, expand your kingdom and make it better and whatnot. Um, but uh, some people really enjoyed it, but I feel like it was one of those games that were, it was definitely very, very quiet uh, to see uh, chat activity in that. Um, I thought it was, it was definitely one of those games I was looking really forward to this year too, uh, that I thought was going to be great, but after thinking about it, I mean, it has some good things and it's got some negative things in my opinion. Um, the combat is great, um, the graphics are great. Uh, I like the kingdom building and whatnot, but uh, a lot of the other things are either hit or miss in my opinion. And uh, uh, I would still prefer the first game for its story, personally, because I think the story is way better than the first one. Not to say the story was anywhere bad in this one, but it just, it's not as good, I don't think. Uh, but that's just my personal uh, opinion on that. Um, but I do prefer uh, probably Nino Kuni 2's gameplay when it came to combat, and that's so much more. So. I would prefer that personally uh, compared to the first one. As much as I like the first game's uh, combat too, um, I personally do believe that the uh, the second game does the combat a little bit more. Even though it does a lot of things uh, that I think the first game probably did a lot, lot better compared to the sequel. But um, hopefully, if they do a third game, um, that they will actually uh, take what was good from this game and then and from and from the first game and then implement them all into like one experience for Nino Kuni 3 if we ever do get a third uh, Nino Kuni game, which I probably would think there is, and uh, hopefully for the love of gosh there is actually more voice acting in the game, because this is a triple A game and you would think there would be more voice acting in the game. Um, nope, you, there's probably like, maybe I'd say 30 cutscenes at best I could think of on top of my mind that actually had actual voice cutscenes. Most of the game is text and reading, which kind of is a bummer in my opinion. Uh, especially with a game like this, where a game that came out a year before, which was uh, Persona 5, which I've never played personally yet, but um, that game has more voice acting, and it's a longer game uh, compared to Nino Kuni 2. And Nino Kuni 2 just barely has any of the voice acting uh, at all in the game. I mean, it has it, but it's like it's random times when they start doing voice acting and whatnot. So. Um, Hopefully they do add voice acting because yeah, if other games do it no problem, then I don't see why this game can't really do it either. So but who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, but then um, we ended up the uh, the season for uh, Le Let's Play Nights with uh, Leftovers Week, and we went back to past games and uh, did some side content or other stuff I didn't showcase in the main playthrough. Uh, the first night we did the South Park: The Fractured Butthole uh, DLCs. Uh, so I played through both of them in one sitting. And uh, I, I quite enjoyed them a bit. I wouldn't I wouldn't say they were awful. I, I think I'd say the first one, the Casa Benito one, was personally better than the one in the campsite. Personally, I think uh, I think the writing and the the jokes were a little better in the first one. Personally, uh, the second one is kind of eh. You could probably skip it. Personally, it's not amazing. I mean, sure, it's got Mintberry Crunch, who I was like waiting for him to show up in the entire game at some point because the whole game is based around the. Uh, the, the superhero personas of the South Park characters, of the kids, but uh, yeah, he doesn't show up until this DLC, and eh, I don't know. I, th I think the second DLC was kind of a bit of a uh, meh, in my opinion. I mean, it wasn't bad, just it wasn't as good as the first one. Um, but I do find it funny that the writing was a lot better in the first DLC of the actual main game, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like the the right, like the story and like the, the in the main game kind of fell flat at in like the second half of the game. I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> but uh, you know, I still had a good time playing the South Park DLC. I'm glad I played them though. It was I, I had to definitely play them because um, I did say I was going to at some point. So and glad both of them came out uh, at this time. So then I was able to play through both of them in one go. Um, and then on our second night for Let's uh, Leftover Nights, we actually uh, went back to some past games and showcased some stuff, such as Persona 4 Golden. We went back and showcased the bad ending of the game. All three of them that I can think of. Uh, and then we had the true, true bad ending as well, so we showcased all of that kind of stuff. We also did a um, the game show stuff, which was uh, actually requested to be done after I did finish the game. So uh, I went and did that, and we beat the game show and stuff, and uh, it was a little fun little thing, I must say. It wasn't... Uh, amazing at all, but uh, it was still pretty good. I mean, even that little thing uh, had voice acting in it. Like, my goodness, they, they went all out for uh, that game. And that's on the PlayStation Vita, or hell, PlayStation TV, in fact. So, uh, like I was talking about earlier about Nino Kuni 2, they don't really have excuses to not do a lot of voice acting in their games. But, I don't know. 
Um, and then we went back to doing, uh, or showcasing some Banjo-Kazooie, which we, we, we played here on the channel, which was avoided by our viewers, and uh, we went and collected the uh, Stop and Swap stuff. So all the Stop and Swap eggs and the uh, Stop and Swap uh, key, so if we ever replay uh, Banjo-Tooie, uh, I have those for the future whenever we do those. So um, I didn't get to do that in my originally planned pl uh, replay of the game, so I decided to showcase it here. Uh, during Leftovers Night, so that's where we did that. Um, and then we went and showcased a bit of Sonic Mania Plus. Uh, we played a little bit of, um, uh, what was it, Plus Mode, I think it was called? Uh, or Replay Mode? I can't remember what the mode was called exactly. But um, we actually went and showcased a bit of that, and uh, it was very cool, actually. It's a, it's a little bit of a whole different game. I kind of like the whole idea where uh, your lives now are basically one character at a time, basically. So. If you die as Sonic, for example, you have to you don't get him back until you open up another uh, monitor box with his face on it. So that's the only way you can actually keep your uh, your characters alive and whatnot. So if all of your characters die, uh, you, you're gamed over basically. So it's basically a lot tougher, I would say, compared to the uh, the original game because the original game was so easy to grind lives and that. Um, but uh, it's definitely a very neat little mode, that's for sure. Um, but it's still pretty cool that they still give you the option, so then you can play as Mighty or uh, Ray uh, during the main game too, so if you want to just play them in normal Mania mode, you could definitely do so, which is pretty cool in my opinion, so good on them. I actually thought when the DLC was coming out, uh, that it was just, they were they were kept locked away for that one mode, but that was not the case, so that's awesome on them for doing that, in my opinion, so. Uh, it's definitely worth getting, in my opinion, I think it's the best way to probably play Sonic Mania personally, is with Sonic Mania Plus, so definitely pick up that DLC. Uh, if you get Sonic Mania at some point, physically or digitally, that is, because I think if you get it uh, physically, you actually get it with it too. So um, it's, it was a pretty cool thing to check out. In my opinion, didn't beat it, but it was just cool to check out. Uh, and then we ended up with uh, showcasing some Super Mario Odyssey with Luigi's Balloon World. Uh, that mode actually came out sometime right after I finished up my actual playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey, but I was in the middle of doing other things for the channel, so I just never had a chance to go and check it out. So this is my first time checking it out, and it's a pretty nifty little mode, I gotta say. Um, some people are probably way too good at the game, so then it makes people like me uh, feel sucky if you haven't played it for like months and looking for some of the balloons that people hide around. Um, but no, I, it's still a pretty neat little mode, um, though I think a lot of people probably expected like another like world that you added for the game and whatnot as like a bonus DLC update or whatever. But personally, I think the best thing they should probably do is uh, probably keep it as a uh, for another game basically. Because I th I think it's safe to say at some point during the Switch's lifespan, we'll probably get Odyssey two at some point. Because if Galaxy got a sequel, I think Odyssey is going to get a sequel too. Because Odyssey was really really well received uh, last year. Uh, during the fall when the game came out, so I'm, I'm pretty certain we're probably going to get more another Odyssey game, or Odyssey light game at some point down the line, because uh, if the ending has told me anything, I mean, it's probably happening, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just taking a wild guess, because you don't really know what Nintendo really does at times, so, but I, I'd be down for another one, so. But for this, what they added in for as a little bonus, I still think it's uh, it was still a pretty fun little mode in my opinion. Um, it's definitely the easiest way to grind coins, I'd say. Uh, but you don't really get too many of them, honestly. Um, so there are some uh, areas in, the, in the, the game that you can actually grind coins a lot quicker, but it's still a nice little alternative to, to make coins and whatnot. So, yeah. um, and then after that, that basically wrapped up Season 7 for Playthrough Nights, um, and then we basically took a bit of a break, and then we started Season number 8 uh, this last week of um, September, which was on the 20th. 8th and 29th, and we started up our first two games of the season, which are part of our Empty Wallathon Marathon, and that is with Marvel Spider-Man. That's right, we've actually started up this game right here, and uh, holy hell, this is a hell of a fun game in my opinion. Um, I definitely, as an early impression so far, I'm only five hours into the game, and I have to say, this could end up being my uh, game of 2018. This is how good this game has been so far. I actually really, really, really enjoyed it. From, um, from how how far I've gotten through it so far. I'm looking forward to definitely playing more through this on the channel. We probably plan to play more, uh, get through a lot more of this game, like I do a lot of it, or showcase a lot of it during the playthrough, so um, yeah, I expect to have to see a lot of this game being played here on the channel uh, for the next little bit here. Um, and then we also started our second game, which is also part of our Empty Wallathon, and that is uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, we got about pretty far into the game. We, I think we did about two... I, would, I don't know, I don't know how I say this. I guess we did a, 
uh, a, uh, a tomb, and then we just got went through the story and whatnot, and kept uh, progressing through the game and whatnot. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty good too. I gotta say, I do. I think I like the uh, the story a little bit more compared to uh, the last game, uh, which was Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, because the stakes are a little more higher in this game, uh, especially especially with uh, the evil uh, gang that are looking for treasures and whatnot that are facing up against Laura and her and her crew. Uh, are trying to find two artifacts that can basically cause ca cataclysms in the world of the world, basic the world of the world. Yeah, that makes me, makes sense. But uh, yeah, um, I think the the stakes are a little higher in there, and I I do like the character development between uh, Laura and and her friend there and the game. I think it's really well done and whatnot. Um, like I said, still pretty early into the game, um, but uh, I, it's, it plays a lot more the same like the last two, but there are some new nice little features, like I believe the tree climbing is kind of new. I don't recall how I was being able to do that in the last game with the rope dart and whatnot. Uh, it kind of gives me some uh, Assassin's Creed 3 vibes a bit, because I think Assassin's Creed 3 had the, the rope dart as well, so that's kind of neat. Um, then you can blend it into the walls with your if you're covered in mud and whatnot, and that's pretty cool. Um, it makes the stealth sections a lot easier, personally, I feel. Um, I'm not saying they were hard in the, the last two games, but I think they make it a lot more easier, personally. But to be fair, I'm only playing on medium difficulty, uh, so probably that's probably the reason why it's a lot easier, personally. So, um, But not to mention that I haven't died, I've died a few times, but uh, yeah, it, it definitely goes to show. But it's cool that they give you the options that you can like adjust the settings for everything, it's like combat, um, just uh, survival and for um, yeah, I think it was crafting or, or stealth. It was one of the other things that I can't remember exactly, but um, or puzzles I think it was. Um, and yeah, I really love. Um, I, I I I think that's a cool option, but I'm I'm playing basically the whole game on medium just to have a smoother experience because I'm I forgot to mention during Spider-Man uh, we are playing on the hardest difficulty that you can, so that's what I'm doing on that game. So. I figured we'd play one game on the hardest difficulty and then play the other game on the not as tough difficulty. So basically in the medium and the middle there, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's been going on for Let's Play Nights. Uh, we've, yeah, it's been interesting for the past couple uh, weeks or months, I guess, or months, I should say, uh, for Let's Play Nights. Because there hasn't really been too much of it, but we're back on track now since the new season has gone underway uh, for Let's Play Nights. Um, let's talk about Late Night Beatdowns now, which is our multiplayer um, session here on the cast. And uh, there was only two uh, Late Night Beatdown streams during the month of September. Uh, those games that we played for the cast were 100% OJ. Uh, I believe that was actually my choice one night, uh, just because there was actually new updates for the game and whatnot. And man, I, I gotta say, after playing it, I'm definitely out of the loop. Uh, when it comes to 100% uh, OJ, because boy, I had no idea any of these updates even were a thing at one point, so uh, yeah, it definitely was a bit of a surprise, but I really had a fun time playing OJ uh, that night. I think it was pretty fun to dive back in after you've not played it for like a, a long time, personally. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down to playing more OJ down the line here on the channel, especially with these new updates that definitely have changed uh, the game, personally. I think for probably a little better, personally. Uh, we also played some Smash Bros for Wii U because um, it was voted by viewers, and because, uh, well, uh, the Smash Bros stuff got announced uh, during a specific uh, thing I'll be talking about here uh, momentarily. Um, and then we also had some Mario Tennis. I uh, figured we might as well play that. Well, it was voted by viewers, and uh, just so I can unlock Diddy Kong, because he was the, uh, the character for the month of September, so we ended up getting him and whatnot. I won a few tournaments, in fact, during that cast, so I'm very happy about that. I even won with Toad, so that makes me very happy. One goal I had in mind was trying to get to win a tournament as Toad uh, in Mario Tennis Aces, so I'm kind of glad I was able to do that, so I'm very happy that that, um, that ended up happening. Um, and then our final game we ever did for let, uh, Late Night Beatdowns for season number 7 for Late Night Beatdowns was Splatoon 2, because I figured, you know what, I haven't really played Splatoon in a while, and uh, it was fun jumping back in playing Splatoon 2 again. I mean, I'm trying to t not take it as serious uh, to be played, I just played just for chips and giggles and whatnot, and you know what, it's more fun that way than trying to take that game a little more seriously in my opinion. There's other FPS games I can play that I can take a little more seriously compared to that game, because uh, it's it should be one of those ones that you should be too serious on, basically. I'd say just because I don't know. I don't really like the whole RNG system with that, where you have to when you're leveling up your um, 
your your gear and whatnot, and then it's all based off luck of what you unlock for your um, your gear and whatnot. I'm, I'm assuming you probably could like get something as you play like the game a lot, where you can basically um, pick what you exactly you want uh, to have. But uh, since I don't really play it too much, I kind of have to deal with just the whole RNG system, and hopefully I get a good tier uh, for equipment that I have and whatnot. So. Um, but other than that, I, um, I did find some pretty good weapons that I liked using, so um, I really enjoyed what I uh, was using in one. I still got to unlock a lot of weapons and whatnot, because I'm so out of the loop. I mean, the game's been out for a year, and I'm only, like, what, level 20-something? <laughs> so, goes to show you I haven't really played too much uh, Splatoon 2 here on the channel at all, so um, definitely will need to change that at some point, because that game seems like it's going to get a lot of support still. Uh, for the next, like, year or so, so I'll definitely have to play a lot more of it here down the line. So, yeah, that basically is what Late Night Beatdowns was for the month of September. And last but not least, let's talk about Mario Kart Sundays, because we have a little bit to discuss here for that. Um, yeah, so for Mario Kart Sundays, we are currently still, we were currently still in the middle of the Mario Kart Sundays theme set contest for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where viewers like you uh, got to make, create your own theme sets, and uh, we are playing through all of them right now. Um, as of right now, we are now going to be heading into the finals of the uh, the theme set contest. Um, as of our next cast, we're going to be announcing our next two submissions that are going to be going on to the finals. Uh, so we will be down to our final four uh, theme sets for the theme set contest 2018. And it's, uh, yeah, we're almost done that theme set contest, so... Uh, it's been pretty fun playing through some custom theme sets, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing which one comes on top that you guys vote for, or what was your personal favorite one uh, during the this year's theme set contest. Um, and on top of that as well, Smash Brothers for Wii U, or no, Smash Brothers for Wii U, Mario Kart 8 for Wii U, excuse me, I'm not sure why I'm talking about Smash Brothers, but Mario Kart 8 for Wii U, uh, unfortunately is now officially done as of uh, the not last Mario Kart cast, but the cast before that, so basically I think that was the... Uh, the 23rd? Yeah, the 23rd. Um, we are officially done with Mario Kart 8 Wii U here on the channel for Mario Kart Sundays. Um, I figured it was time to say farewell at that point. I did give a lot of notices uh, months and months prior that I was dropping the Wii U version at some point on the on the channel. Um, so, yes, it's now officially done here. Um, so if anyone ever asks, am I ever playing the Wii U version again? The answer is no. The Wii version is officially in the books. I don't plan on jump, jumping back into that. Um, at least right now. Um, as for, like the vanilla version of the Wii U version, if something comes up for like the uh, the Wii U version at some point down the line that has like modded stuff for the game, then maybe we could jump back into it. But when it comes to vanilla Mario Kart 8 Wii U, no, Mar Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 Wii U vanilla version is officially uh, done. I am done officially with that. Making Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, the only version of Mario Kart 8 I will be playing now here on the channel. So that is basically what's going on here. But uh, I should probably take this time to say thank you for everybody who's always who's ever played a Mario Kart uh, 8 Wii U game cast here on the channel over the years. Uh, it's definitely been the longest uh, Mario Kart game that's ever been played here on this channel. Uh, after 180 weeks, it did surpass Mario Kart Wii, uh, like, a, like, like a year or two, so it's pretty surprising how long that game actually kind of lasted, so it is, it was definitely the longest, uh, Mario Kart game, uh, I played for Mario Kart Sunday, so yeah, um, so thank you for everybody who's ever played, uh, Mario Kart with Wii U with me, it's been, it was, it's been fun, but now we're gonna be turning our focuses on to other things from Mario Kart Sunday, along with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and we'll talk about that. Uh, later on here on the uh, the podcast. So yeah, <clears throat> um, and then also we did some let's reacts here on the channel <clears throat> where I did some live reactions to some stuff that includes the latest Nintendo Direct. Um, it's up available on my main YouTube channel right now. So if you missed my reaction to them, uh, you can go check that out. Um, I thought it was a pretty positive direct. I really enjoyed what there was. Uh, there was some definitely some surprises <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed what I saw there. Um, on top of that, um, this was off-cast, however. Um, I actually did a live reaction to the uh, Tokyo Game Show 2018 Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. Uh, the extended one, not the short one, but the very longer one that they, uh, they uh, released with the, uh, the Big Hero 6 world and all that stuff. And man, oh man, I still can't believe it's not January yet. I, I really need January to come by right now, like the end of January, just so I can have that game in my hand. I still can't believe that game's even a real thing. <laughs> it's running as good as it is and looking as good as it is, so... 
Um, the hype is still there. I feel like they dropped a lot of stuff for the game on that last trailer, but uh, especially story stuff and whatnot. But uh, I think it was still a pretty good trailer. I'm and a lot of people have been saying they feel like they're getting spoiled by these trailers. I I highly doubt that's the case. I don't think Square is trying to spoil you with these game with this game. If they sh were sh showing too much, they probably would not have shown any of that stuff that they showcased in that trailer. So there's probably still a lot of things that have not even been showcased on these. Um, um, in the game that's in these trailers, so I'm not too worried uh, when it comes to that. But yeah, the Tokyo Game Show definitely showcased a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3. So, um, but yeah, I, the only thing I really reacted to was the um, was the trailer, was the extended trailer during TGS, and uh, I was a big fan of it. It was a pretty good trailer in my opinion. So yeah, so there you go. That's basically what we did in the, the month of September. Kind of a shorter month than I normally do, but that's just September in general. That is where I basically take my uh, breaks basically just after a long year or uh, long season of casting. It's always nice to take a bit of a break just to re-energize and whatnot. So that's the reason why that was. So uh, let's talk about this month's plans. What are the plans for um, October of 2018? Well, for Let's Play Nights, uh, we are starting up our season right now. We are currently still going to be going through our first two games of the season. Those being uh, Marvel Spider-Man and uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider should be ending first uh, because I don't spend I don't plan to spend too much time for that one. I mean I'll try to go as much as I can, but it won't be as much like Marvel Spider-Man will be. So I'll just I'll just say that much. So, um, but yes, then we'll probably be starting our next game for the Empty Wallathon, uh, which is uh, going to be our slot two game following after the end of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So um, that is going to be the plan um, when it comes to that. Um, late night beatdowns. Uh, should, we'll be coming back here on our first uh, Thursday of October. We will be uh, doing late night beatdowns here, and uh, definitely going to be trying to playing a lot of newer stuff because, as uh, announced a few months or a month ago or so, we now have this bad boy. So now we can start playing stuff that's on here for multiplayer stuff. So if you have 3DSs, um, get excited for that because now we are going to be diving into those games. Uh, this month, uh, we'll be having those games on polls. I'll be putting them on my uh, game of choice for the nights whenever I do let, uh, late night beatdowns. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, quite interesting, that's for sure. Um, and also, Mario Kart Sundays. Uh, we'll be always continuing with our uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe shenanigans. Um, and yes, we will be ending our theme set contest this month. So, yes, the theme set contest will be coming to an end uh, earlier this month, in fact. So, or, well, not earlier this month. We'll be playing the last. Um, Submission. We'll be playing the last round of the contest. Uh, it should be in two weeks or so, and then the, the 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 contest winner will be announced two weeks after that, basically. So around the end of October uh, is when we'll be announcing our winner of the Theme Set Contest of 2018. So that's basically when that's going to be happening and whatnot. So yeah. So there you go. Those are the plans we have for the month. So that's what's going to go down. So. Now we'll talk about the month schedule for the month of October. This is where I basically showcase the schedule for the month and uh, what the stream schedule will look like. So here is what the schedule is going to look like for the month of October of 2018. So our first official stream of October uh, should be happening. Well, actually, to be fair, we did a one on the first, but that was a makeup day. But this is the official first day. Uh, October cast of 2018 for sure, and that is late night beatdowns. And uh, the plan for this cast, we're going to be doing some Smash Brothers for Wii U, and uh, you guys can vote for what game gets played for your viewers' choice portion. So keep an eye out for the week uh, weekly update on the website, and uh, you guys can vote for what gets played for the viewers' choice portion. So keep an eye out for that. And then October 5th, we'll be here with Let's Play Nights, as we'll be here with Day Two of Marvel Spider-Man. We'll be continuing that. Uh, October 6th, Shadow of the Tomb Raider will continue where, where we start off with that. And then on October 7th, we'll be here with Mario Kart Sundays uh, with something new here. And we'll talk about more about that in just a moment. Uh, October 11th, we'll be here with Late Night Beatdowns. And uh, I'm not sure where I'll be playing just yet, so stay tuned for that. And But there will be a viewer's choice poll as well, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man, we'll continue more of that. That should be Day 3. And then we'll have Day 3 of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on October 13th. Uh, maybe we'll be done it by then, I'm not too sure exactly, but we'll see. Uh, October 14th is a big night, and that is the 7 year anniversary show. We're going to be celebrating 7 years of casting here on Twitch. Uh, more information about that is here in just a little bit here as the podcast rolls on. 
Uh, October 15th, we'll be here with a special Monday night edition of Mario Kart Sundays with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and this is where we'll be playing our finals of the theme set contest. Our last remaining four theme sets will be played on this stream here, so that should be fun. Um, then after that, we will be back here on October 19th with more Marvel Spider-Man. That should be day four. Uh, October 21st, we'll be here with um, Mario Kart Sundays. October 22nd and 20, we'll be, 22nd, we'll be here with Let's Play Nights, and maybe we'll be starting something here, or we'll be getting more of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we'll see. Uh, October 26th, maybe we'll be playing more Spider-Man, or we will um, be starting something new, I'm not sure, but most likely we'll be playing more Spider-Man at this point, I would say. Uh, October 27th, with Let's Play Nights, to be determined what we'll be playing at, at that time. October 28th, will be Mario Kart Sundays with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and we will be... Um, announcing our winner of the theme set contest on this day. So yes, as we go to the finals, there's going to be a two-week voting period for people to vote for uh, the winner. So that's why there's going to be a two-week gap uh, to announce the winner. We always, that's how we always do things when it comes to the theme set contest. Uh, and then October 29th, we will be here with the November 2018 channel update. So that's where our next podcast will be happening on, on uh, October 29th. 2018. So yeah, that's basically our schedule for the month. Uh, should be pretty smooth sailing. Uh, we only got about two late night beatdown streams, and that's early this month. But uh, my Thursday slots do tend to get pretty busy at this time of the year, so uh, that's probably that's the reason why there's only two uh, late night beatdown streams this month. So yeah, but uh, this should be the go ahead uh, uh, schedule for the month. Um, but things are destined to change. So if anything changes. Um, I'll already know on social media if anything does come up and whatnot, so definitely stay tuned on social media or my Discord or my website if anything uh, changes when it comes to the schedule for the month of October. But for the most part, that should be what it should be, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you go guys, that is the schedule for the month, so yeah, hope you're all good with that. And if you have any questions or concerns, comment them down below in the, the, the YouTube comment section if you're watching this on YouTube, or hell, you can send me messages on uh, Twitter or Discord if anything changes or whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> so, moving on now is the Games I Bought section. So this is a section where I like to do where I like to uh, showcase games that I bought during the month of, the previous month basically, and uh, well, you probably already know the first two games I've already bought, but there were a total of three games that were bought back in the month of September, and the first game I, was, I bought was for a playthrough night, and we're currently playing through it right now, and that is uh, Marvel Spider-Man, and uh, yeah, this has been one of my mo one of my most highly anticipated games of 2018, and uh, yeah, I've been pretty much enjoying it so far for how far we've gotten so far in the game. Uh, but more and more will be show will be played through as the month of October progresses, and I believe new DLC, the first DLC for the game comes out in October too, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, and then our second game that we bought, or I bought, was uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, as um. This is also a game we're currently playing through right now as well. The third and final installment of the Tomb Raider uh, trilogy uh, reboot. And uh, yeah, definitely had to play through this at some point in the channel. And we are currently playing it right now. And uh, yeah, been pretty much enjoying it just as much as the other ones, that's for sure. Um, and as well, on PlayStation 4, I got a Dingley though, and I got something for another channel of mine, which I'll be talking about here in a little bit here. So stay tuned for that as well. So I, I, won't, I won't say what game it is, but uh, I will... Uh, I'll talk about that in just a little bit here, so stay tuned for that, so yeah. But those are basically the games I got for the month of uh, September. Not a whole lot this month, but uh, next month for sure should be where my wallet is going to feel some pain, so <laughs> that should be uh, great times, I would say. <laughs> Alright, so moving on now, we're going to head to our first, some, our first segment of the night, or well, our first major segment, I guess, and that is our highlight of the month as we look back at the past month for a uh, pretty good highlight that had happened in the past month of uh, casting here on the channel, but because September was not a very busy month when it came to the channel in general, uh, there was not really a lot of highlights to really pick as much, so um, we have picked something already from the start of season number 8 already, and if you were here at a uh, one of the first Let's Play Night streams here on the channel, well, this is pretty much an early uh, pick for one of my favorite highlights that have occurred so far uh, from the month of, um, of uh, September. Of September, so uh, this comes from our first night of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and uh, I found this little glitch that occurred uh, during the game uh, during a, a, a flashback segment, and I thought it was freaking hilarious. I was dying laughing, but probably because I was so 
uh, sleep fit fatigued that I always th I thought the stupidest thing was hilarious. So uh, yeah, so here is our highlight of the month for the month of September of 2018. I throw it up there. Yeah. A test of skill. Oh. Our hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. We. What the fuck? <laughs> what the heck? Why? <laughs> Why did that happen? What? I. I. Slides are glitchy. Let me just tell you what now, ladies and gentlemen. Slides are the most glitchy things, I guess. Who knew? <laughs> glitchy slides. <laughs> what the heck? I just wanted to go down a slide peacefully with no nothing bad happening, but nope, I'm not allowed to have that. <laughs> I wonder if it'll do it again here. Let's see. Alright, hold on. First of all, we'll toss that shit in here. Nice. Alright, let's see. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I, you know what I think it is? It's because I'm holding the side, that's why. <laughs> Hold on, I want to try one more time. Just to make sure. Let's see. If it's because of that. What if I jump? <laughs> Oh, I'll go up the slide. <laughs> the adventurer should not dally any longer. <laughs> <laughs> oof! <laughs> Fucking oof! <laughs> Wait. Oh! <laughs> I'm having, I'm having so much fun with this slide. <laughs> This slide is the fun, most fun I've had. Oh God! <laughs> Hold up, one more time. Croft should hurry if she wants to find the treasure. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Oh no, I'm like stuck. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh my god. <laughs> I should stop while I'm, while I'm at it. <laughs> I should get going. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Laura. We should get going. We, 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 we don't wanna... we don't wanna... get distracted by a slide. <laughs> holy... holy crap. <laughs> I found that more funnier than it needed to be. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yes, we had a slide glitch and it was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> or pretty funny, I should say. So yes, that's our highlight of the month and it's our, our first uh, highlights that have occurred from season number 8 already. We had a few already uh, from this season already, um, but uh, I thought that was definitely the best one to pick so far uh, from the month of uh, September because that was still in a cast of September of 2018, so that's why. So yeah, so thank you. Or I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a very, very fun one. If you were there for that, it was pretty hilarious in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so moving on here to our next segment uh, for the channel. And that is some of our channel updates. That's right, so we have some a few things to talk about here on the channel. And uh, we're going to first bring things over to Mario Kart Sundays for a minute because we have a bit of an update in regards to Mario Kart Sundays. As mentioned before, Mario Kart 8 Wii U is no longer going to be played here for Mario Kart Sundays in the near future. So we do need a new game to be in replace of it. And uh, this was announced back during the last Mario Kart 8 Wii U cast. But uh, if, you haven't, if you weren't here during that, well, we do have a bit of an announcement trailer uh, when it comes to that. So uh, please take a look.
Well, there you go. That's our uh, our next game for Mario Kart Sundays is Mario Kart 7. That's right, Mario Kart 7 will be starting up here for Mario Kart Sundays on October 7, 2018, which is the first uh, Sunday of October. So I figured that's a perfect day to, to line it up. And I thought that was hilarious when I saw that. I was like, oh my god, that's the perfect time to line it up. Because then I looked at it, and then I, I was looking at the day when I was ending um, week number 180. And then two weeks after that, it was October 7. Then it's like, wow, that couldn't have lined up so much better, right? So that's pretty crazy. So yes, um, October 7th is when we're going to be starting Mario Kart 7 here on the channel. So it is going to be the second Mario Kart game that we're going to be playing here on the channel. Actually, technically, it's the fourth one, if you think about it, because we had Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and now we have Mario Kart 7 now. So now we have two Mario Kart games back on the rotation once again. And uh, we'll be starting that up here on the channel here on October 7, 2018, and uh, there actually was also a little bit of a tiny teaser at the end of the, uh, the, the Mario Kart 7 teaser there, but uh, more info for that to come uh, during a certain other event that is coming up here, so yeah, pretty soon, so stay tuned for information about that, whatever cards about Mario Kart Sunday, so yeah. <laughs> so yes, and now moving on to our next thing to talk about here, and that is about the 7 year anniversary show, and uh, well, um, I guess we'll sh start. before I talk about more about this, let's dive into this. So please have a look. So yes, coming to you live here Sunday, October 14, 2018 is the 7 year anniversary show. Going to be celebrating 7 years of freaking amazing awesome times here on the channel. And it's going to be a pretty awesome show going to be happening as I celebrate 7 years of casting here on Twitch TV. Now, during the show, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be happening, such as the highly anticipated Top 50 Moments video, where we look back at the best 50 moments that occurred back in the year that was season number 7, along with 5 honorable mentions. We also will have some other news and announcements that are not going to be discussed here tonight, here on the podcast, so uh, that will be, be all discussed on the, uh, the anniversary show and whatnot, so yeah. Um, there also will be the uh, award show poll winners will be announced too. Uh, we currently have a bunch of polls up right now on our website right now, so make sure to go vote for those polls. Uh, we have one more poll going up uh, as of uh, this Friday, which is the uh, 5th, yeah, so on the 5th of October will be the last poll going up for the anniversary polls, so uh, I will mention it on Discord and social media and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so make sure to go vote for those. Uh, you can vote once a day for the poll, so make sure to vote daily to get what you want to have a better chance at winning. And you have until the uh, 13th of October at 11.59 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time to vote, so make sure to vote as much as you can before the polls close, then, so then you can have a better chance at what you want to win them to possibly win. So, yeah, make sure to do so. Um, and also, we will also will be doing a uh, marathon 
a vodcast marathon uh, sometime prior before the anniversary show, uh, which will be re- watching all the top 50 moments videos from season 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, leading up to the start of uh, the 7 year anniversary show. So, uh, more details about that will be discussed on Discord or social media, whatnot, sometime before uh, the anniversary show is leaked. So, keep an eye out for that. And, uh, once again, this is going to be happening once again live here Sunday, October 14, 2018, 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. So it should be awesome time. Hope to see everybody come out to this awesome, awesome event if you can. <laughs> Could be a good one in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going to be happening here. It's definitely one of the bigger events that happen here on the channel every year. So, it should be a good one. So, yeah. Um, and now, moving on. Um, I've been requested by a lot of people to bring back a specific channel of mine that's been kind of just been obsolete for the past couple of months, maybe a year or so. I don't remember the last time I was really even on that channel before, but uh, you know what? I figured I'd bring it back from the dead uh, because I figured it was probably time to do so because I haven't really been doing much of it since then because I've kind of been focusing on my main channel here on uh, Twitch, which is uh, this channel that we're currently watching this live if you're on Twitch right now. This is where I. Uh, mainly do my main stuff, but there's another channel I currently have, and that is uh, TGVD Sports, where I do a lot of sports, gaming, and whatnot, and I figured there's something I want to do to bring it back, and it's been requested by a couple of uh, people in my community to bring it back, and I figured, sure, I will definitely do so. So at some point uh, during this month, uh, we will be back on TGVD Sports uh, sometime after the anniversary, that is. Uh, I don't have an official day when, though, yet, but uh, we will be starting up with a uh, franchise mode. Uh, that's going to be happening on TGV Sports on October 2018, so yes, uh, that's the third game I ended up getting here for the month of uh, September, so that's, there you go. Um, I thought I would announce that here on the, on, the stream, on the stream here, or this podcast, because it will be happening at some point. So yeah, that, the revival of this channel will be definitely happening then, so uh, I know some people will be very excited to know that, but yes, sometime in October, uh, we'll be starting that. I've been kind of waiting to do this. Uh, until October, just because the uh, the actual um, opening day rosters will be out for the game then, and I'll be able to um, have the rosters up to date when I start my stuff and whatnot for that. And plus, it's a good time to do something like this after the anniversary stuff uh, goes away and whatnot, so I'm not focusing all on that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so it should look forward to that. It should be a fun time to bring back this game, uh, this channel. Um, once again, if you've ever been on my this channel before, uh, it doesn't have a schedule. It's just going to be me casting over there whenever I kind of feel like it kind of thing. So don't expect it to be a, uh, a thing I'm going to be over there constantly and whatnot. It'll be when I kind of feel like it and whatnot. So it could be after my main streams, it could be before some streams, or just days I don't normally stream on, or when I'm available and I feel like casting over there and whatnot. So yeah, it should be uh, pretty cool. I'm, I've been wanting to revive this channel for quite some time, and I figured, hell, this is where we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll start off with some NHL 19 uh, for TGVD Sports. Um, there also will be more information about TGVD Sports on the 14th of October during the anniversary show, so uh, stay tuned for more info on that. Alright, so there you go, guys. So that's some bit of a channel announcement. Um, there's a lot more to talk about because we are in the middle of season number 8, and there's a lot of new things that I haven't discussed here, but all the new stuff is going to be discussed more uh, during the anniversary show, so uh, that's where more of that information is going to be talked about. If you've, if you've been here on the first couple of casts for the season, uh, there's a lot of new things, but we'll talk about more about that uh, during the anniversary show. So uh, head, head to that uh, stream at some point, or on the 14th, at whenever I'm doing it, uh, with, uh, whenever I'm talking about it, and uh, that's where you'll get more of the information about that kind of stuff, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so next up, our second to last uh, segment for the uh, this month's podcast is our Caster of the Month nomination. So that's right. Um, so last month, I believe our Caster of the Month was Cochise, and uh, he was our September uh, 2018 Caster of the Month. So he's a pretty awesome guy, so make sure to go follow him. He was our Caster of the Month then. Um, now this month is probably a, uh, a group uh, as a caster. Well, I wouldn't say they're they're one caster. It's like a a bunch of people, and uh, they're uh, they're they're a stream. I 
I've been watching since I've ever been on Justin TV or slash Twitch TV. Um, and they are very, 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 very funny people in my opinion, especially if you're into like wrestling stuff. Uh, they do a lot of uh, wrestling gaming and stuff, and they do a lot of multiplayer stuff about that. They even had like actual like uh, people from WWE to be on their streams, which is pretty crazy to think about in my opinion. Um, they're probably the biggest wrestling uh, Twitch channel on this on this site, I would say. Um, but yeah, I've been watching them since like I'd say. Gosh, like 2011 or so, or 10 maybe. It's like been around then. So, so around the time I started, kind of been on the site uh, myself. It's kind of been I've been kind of been watching them, and yeah, like I mentioned, they do a lot more uh, wrestling stuff and whatnot. So, uh, uh, here is a uh, funny highlight that recently happened on the stream when they were playing uh, WWE 2K18. And uh, if you guys know how glitchy that game is, well, this is uh, this, these these guys like to break those games too. So if you're into glitching, uh, they like to break a lot of their games, uh, these games from that series. So, uh, but this is just a funny thing that happened during a match they were playing, and I thought it was freaking hilarious. So uh, we'll showcase their highlight right here, right now. Oh, I'm just gonna be down for the rest of the match, apparently. Four, three. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! What a Jesus. bastard determined to do that spot! <laughs> what a, I fucking. I almost back. I almost cartwheeled into the ring! <laughs> she like really went like. Both she tricks. was going for bro. <laughs> oh my god, I remember I was at the channel during that happening, and oh my god, it was so fucking funny. <laughs> but yes, uh, my caster, or, or casters, or ca I guess casters of the month, I guess, is a, a Twitch group called uh, New Legacy Inc. Uh, they are pretty damn hilarious. Uh, they do like a lot of wrestling stuff here on Twitch. They play a lot of... Um, uh, Twitch uh, wrestling stuff. That's not just WWE stuff, they also do Fire Pro and all that stuff. And hell, they don't just do wrestling games, they also do... Um, they also do, uh, like, GTA and all that kind of stuff, too, and they are absolutely hilarious. They they are, in my opinion, one of the funniest channels here on Twitch, personally, and uh, they are a very big, uh, big channel. They used to be pretty small, but now they've grown into, like, a big, big thing, which is, they are pretty damn awesome. Um, yeah, they are awesome. I can definitely, if you're into, like, wrestling stuff and whatnot, go check them out there. They are fantastic, in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh... And they also do a lot of charity stuff too. So once a like once a year, they always do like some charity stuff and whatnot. And uh, they do raise like a lot of money for charities and whatnot, which is uh, for cancer and all that stuff, which is very very awesome of them. So yeah, so um, yeah, they are awesome. Go make sure to go check them out. If you're into wrestling stuff, go check them out. They are fantastic. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our final segment of tonight's uh, or this episode of the podcast is our Q and A session. So yes, we have. Uh, our Q and A sessions we do once a month here uh, for the monthly Beatdown podcast, where you guys can send in questions uh, for me to answer. Um, however, this this time I'm going to be deleting questions that are not questions. So if you're not sending in questions, I will not be reading them at all. Uh, they can be goofy questions, like gag questions or not. But if you're asking, just saying, coming I mean, or putting up stuff to say things, or just sending me stuff to read or whatever, um, I'm not going to be reading those anymore. Those are being getting deleted now. Uh, I just want questions. Uh, to be sent. They can be goofy questions, like like joke questions as well, and I'll still read those too, but um, nothing like uh, stuff that you can say, like just like messages to say to leave me or whatever, I, or stuff to post stuff in the chat or the, the the question segment. I just want actual questions to be sent for me, not stuff to read and whatnot, so just let everybody know. So if you send a question and uh, I don't read it, because it's probably not a question that was actually sent. Uh, to be uh, answered here on the podcast and that's why so it's no hard feelings I just only want questions to be asked uh, to be uh, read during the, uh, the podcast that's all so, so if you have a question you'd like to ask me you can use the uh, beatdown bot command exclamation mark ask Andy's or ask Andy excuse me and you'll get linked to a google doc and uh, you can post your question there make sure to leave a name and your question so then I can actually read it to you um there also, I believe, is a thing you can do here on Twitch, if you're exclusively on here in Twitch. You can click, there's a little button down there, it's a Streamlabs app. Click that, 
and then you can use your beatdown bucks to uh, send me a question that way if you're watching this on the uh, the browser and whatnot. So there's two ways you can actually uh, send me questions if you'd like. So yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with questions that we have uh, during the Google Doc here. So yeah, so we're gonna quickly go for those real quickly right here, right now. Uh, so our first question is from Edge. Uh, he asks, what Mario Kart track aside from from the guy who couldn't get into Smash Pinball, are you are you looking forward to seeing in Mario Kart 7 again? So retro tracks now. Um well obviously I am looking forward to be playing on um, Maple Treeway again. That is a, a track I um I, I I really 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 loved back when I played that uh, Mario Kart Wii here on the channel. Uh, it's definitely one of my personal favorites that have that were in that game, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, playing that again. Coconut Mall is another one I'm looking forward to playing again. Uh, Luigi's Raceway from Mario Kart 64 is in the game, so I'm looking forward to playing that one. Um, uh, Calamari Desert's in the game too, looking forward to playing that. Um, another one I'm looking forward to, I believe, I can't, I can't really remember too many of the retro courses, but um, another one I look forward to is uh, Koopa Troopa Beach. That one is a really good one too. Um, yeah, those are like the ones I can think of at the top of my mind that I'm looking forward to. Um, obviously tracks that are from that are in this game that, that are also in 8, um, I am looking forward to playing again on uh, Music Park again just to see how much of a difference it is uh, on Mario Kart 7 compared to how it is on Mario Kart 8, you know? Uh, just to see all those tracks uh, that got remade in 8, just to see how much different they are uh, in this game compared to they were in the other game, you know? So it's going to be interesting to go back a game to see how it looks like. Um, is Donut Plains in the game? I don't know if it is, honestly. I, I actually don't even remember. Hold on, let me, let me look that up for you. I'll see what tracks are in the game here. I actually don't even remember uh, what retro courses are all in the game here. And I know Waluigi's Pinball's in the game, but uh, that's that's the, the, the question is besides that one. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. We got... I can find the track, tracks here. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, oh, we just matched from the DS is in the game. Oh yeah, that's right, that's in the game, isn't it? That was a good track in my opinion. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, let's see. Uh, gotta scroll up again, wait. Couldn't see the other side here. Koopa Capes in the game. Oh sweet, Koopa Cape is a good, a good track in my opinion. I'm looking forward to playing that again. That's a really good one. That was from the Wii. Uh, we got Airship Fortress, which is a good one too. Uh, Dino Dino Jungle from Double Dash is in the game, that's cool. Uh, Daisy Cruise is also in the game, that's pretty sweet too. That's from GameCube as well. Uh, DK Pass from the DS, that's a good track too, personally. I, I do remember that the uh, the retro courses were, were pretty good in my opinion that we added for Mario Kart 7, so... Um, a lot of them I'm looking forward to. Um, it's basically the new courses I don't really re even remember, honestly. Besides Piranha Plant Slide and... Uh, Music Park and uh, DK Jungle, obviously. Those are the ones I obviously remember because I play uh, them almost every week during Mario Kart 8, right? So, besides those ones, I kind of don't even remember a lot of the other tracks that are uh, made for this game exclusively. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it does not look like uh, Donut Plains is in this game. So, unfortunately, so that's a sad time for you. But hey, there's no baby part, and that's just as good too, right? <laughs> So yeah, so that's basically my answer for that. So thank you very much for the question there. I do look forward to playing uh, Mario Kart 7 for Mario Kart 7 pretty soon here. Alright, so next question here is from sh uh, Blank of the of the, of the Keyblade, I believe. Uh, question is, will you remember me in Kingdom Hearts 3? Nope, unfortunately I will not. <laughs> Until you become canon again uh, in the game, then I maybe I will, but right now, uh, I don't know who even, if you're, what your name is. Uh, I, I unfortunately uh, Google will, will not remember you. Uh, so. <laughs> so yeah. So thank you for the question, blank. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So next question is from Blue. Blue Explosion it says, now that the th that you have a 3DS capture card, will you be doing Pokemon Viewer Battle someday? Yes. Um. It's a request I get a lot. Uh. If, if I ever get a 3DS capture card, will I ever do Pokemon battles with people? The answer is yes, I will definitely do so. Um, however, the only games I got right now uh, when it comes to Pokemon are um, Pokemon X and Pokemon Sun. Not Ultra Sun, just the regular Pokemon Sun. But uh, 
definitely would like to do some viewer battles uh, when it comes to Pokemon, because it's been something that gets requested a lot from people, people who definitely want to um, fight me in Pokemon. Um, I will say I'm not the greatest at Pokemon, so um, I don't really have a, a lot of Pokemon to choose from. I usually just make my team and then I just go with them, just battle people with them. Uh, compared to like a lot of people who, like, um, after the post game, uh, they go and make another team, basically, uh, from hunt or just um, catching them in the wild and whatnot, and then just leveling up from there. I mean, it probably doesn't take too long, just because the, the newer Pokemon games have the thing where you can just level up everybody all at once, which is a very nice thing. I'm really, really glad that the new Pokemon games do that. I know a lot of Pokemon fans hate that, which I don't understand why. I don't know why you would, you would like to spend 40 hours leveling up one guy and then do another 40 for the next guy. I, I, I'd rather have 40 hours spent leveling up everybody at once without um, having to switch Pokemon out and whatnot, because I really, really do like that personally. Um, but yes, uh, regardless though, yes, if the, for the question, yes, I will definitely be doing some viewer battles uh, when it comes to the Pokemon, so. Um, it could be a late night beatdowns thing, I think that makes a little more sense to do it for that, I'd say, so. Yes, but when it comes to, like, uh, playthroughs for Pokemon, uh, I probably won't be doing uh, viewer battles during that. Just just for late night beatdown streams and whatnot, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely be doing some viewer battles for that, for sure. So, yeah, thank you for the question there. Uh, next question is from Jeffrey. It says, did you hear that I might be able to return home soon? Yes, I heard that uh, Toys R Us is apparently uh, J-baiting everybody, and uh, they're actually going to come back at some point. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Well, they were always here in Canada for me, but um, yeah, apparently they might be coming back to the U.S. Um, according to uh, an article I was reading uh, earlier today, um, it says that... Um, they might re they might reboot reboot the brand and open up new stores again. So yeah, um, so it's not going to become Toys R Us or Babies R Us. It's going to be what Colt Stack said in the chat there. Adults R Us. So it's going to become an adult uh, adult toy store, you know. And um, yeah, so Jeffrey's going to be selling sex toys and sex dolls and all that stuff and dildos and all that thing. So um, get excited for that. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, um, I mean it's cool that they're that they're bringing Toys R Us back. Uh, if it's going to be called Toys R Us, I don't even know if they're going to even call it Toys R Us. They didn't even really say. Um, they might just call something entirely different. In fact, in fact, uh, Jeffrey might not even be the mascot. You so we don't we don't even know exactly yet what they, what they mean by that. Um, so, but we'll see, we'll see exactly how that works out because um, we don't really know too much of it. All they know is that they are. They're looking. They some dudes is gonna try to revive it and reboot the brand and whatnot. So um, I would be excited for people that who love Toys R Us and unfortunately had it disappear for a late last year. So it's kind of funny that it's coming back a year later. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, but they're very cool that it is. But it's funny how they kind of j bait everybody. Like they're all oh, we're closing our stores and then they do and then it's like oh just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Business is weird. I'll just tell you that much. But uh, yeah, so thank you for the question there. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, another question here uh, is from Anonymous. Favorite Edge, the wrestler match? <laughs> uh, I think I answered this question at one point before. Um, My favorite Edge match. Hmm. That is a good question. Uh, I would have to say... Man, what, what, what was my what's my favorite edge match? That's, that's a tough choice. Like I if I could choose more than just Edge himself, like one on one in that, like, it'd be so much easier because I could tell you like matches that he was in a tag team with and whatnot because that would be easier personally. Um, when it comes to like singles matches, I can't really think of like uh, one that's used. Well, besides his match with Mick Foley at uh, at WrestleMania, the hardcore match. That's probably my favorite uh, Edge like uh, singles match, um, but uh, when it comes to uh, like him and like tag team matches, and that, it's obviously with him teaming with Christian against the Hardys and the uh, the Dudley Boys in the TLC matches. Because uh, yeah, those were uh, those were pretty hype in my opinion. Um, hell, even the first ladder match they did at uh, I think it was WrestleMania 2000, I think it was. That was still a pretty good match too. But I think everyone always remembers uh, TLC. I think it was called uh, back at WrestleMania 
Uh, was it 17? Yes, yeah, WrestleMania 17, yeah. So everyone kind of remembers that one, and that's one of my favorite uh, uh, TLC matches that Edge was in and whatnot. But um, when I, I think the question mainly means um, for his solo matches and whatnot, definitely his hardcore match was fully my personal favorite. Uh, that was... Uh, that's probably what made him into a main eventer, personally. I mean, he won the title, like the WWE title, months prior, but I think this is what solidified him to be a, uh, a big-time player. He kind of did the same thing for Randy Orton a few months prior, uh, or a year before, I should say. Or two years, actually, because that was 2004, yeah. And then this match was 2006, so yeah. Um, and yeah, it just made Edge into like a bona fide star and whatnot, and he became like one of the best heels uh, ever, personally. I think uh, Heel Edge was the best Edge, personally. Uh, Baby Face Edge was good, but um, I preferred him when he was a heel. Like, cause, man, I'll tell you what now, I used to hate Edge when I was younger, too, because I was like, cause I, at the time, I was a pretty big fan of Cena, so um, I did uh, kind of like hate his guts, to him, and he always annoyed me because he would always like win <laughs> and whatnot. But uh, I do. But looking back, he was uh, definitely a really good heel, and he was probably, in my opinion, my favorite um, rival that John Cena ever had. Personally, I think that's Cena's best view that he's ever had with like, Edge. No questions asked. I think. I think that's a safe bet to say. I mean, a lot of people may say CM Punk and all that stuff, but to me, it was always, always, always uh, it's Randy Orton today. But it was always, always, always going to be Edge for me personally. That's how. That's how I feel about uh, Cena's views anybody. So yeah, thank you for the question there. Um, no more questions there. I'm just going to quickly check a look at my uh, uh, Streamlabs here and see if we got any on there. Let me just see here. I actually don't even have Streamlabs up. I should, I should have had it open. Oh well. Normally I don't really get a lot of questions in the, uh, the Streamlabs section, but I'll, I'll take a look just to make sure if there is any. Oh, we got... Oh, we got one question here from FD. He asked, "What can I do with 7,400 beatdown bucks?" Um, obviously, you can wager them <laughs> using the uh, thing there. So, uh, yeah, that's one thing you can do with them. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for the question. All right, we got a couple more questions here that just popped up here. Um, first of all, let's see what we got. We got anonymous. They asked, "How am I doing?" I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Hope you're well. All right. And the next question is from Superbean2099. Uh, he asks, uh, "Is there one wrestler you'd like to see return for 1,000th episode of SmackDown?" Uh, Batista, but they've already announced that he's coming back with Evolution. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's pretty much the only one I could think of because he was a uh, he kind of led the SmackDown brand at, brand at one point. Um, Rey Mysterio would be cool too, but. Uh, I hear he did re, re, uh, re-sign with WWE, so he could probably be showing up then, at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, probably just Batista, honestly, because he... Him, or him, maybe Edge as well, I don't know if Edge will show up at all. He, I mean, he should, because Edge kind of carried SmackDown on his back for the past couple of... Uh, the last couple of years of his career, so... Um, but yeah, definitely Batista, because it was definitely, at the one time, it was definitely Batista and Edge that were, like, running that show, along with Undertaker. Like, those three were, like, the main event guys for that show at one point. But then, you can also think that, like, the, that before that even, it was Ray, Kurt, Benoit, Edge, uh, Los Garros, like, all of them, and John Cena, even. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people I would say, but I would say definitely Batista, because... He was like the big baby face of that, um, of that, uh, of that brand at the time, I'd say. <laughs> he was basically John, the John Cena of, uh, SmackDown, except he wasn't getting the John Cena always push like, uh, John Cena would, so he wouldn't win like every match or whatnot. So he made him more likable compared to, uh, uh, to Cena at the time, so. But yeah, so thank you for the question there. Uh, next one's from Anonymous. Just explain what's going on with Aqua in Kingdom Hearts 3. I personally think she's the Darkling on the cover. I mean, you're probably not wrong. That's the uh, speculation that she is the Darkling. Um, I, I don't believe she's Norded. Uh, she's just been overrun by the darkness. And uh, she's become a, uh, a Darkling. Because I believe the idea is to become a Darkling. 
um, from what a lot of the uh, speculators always say, um, is that... It, hold on, what, what was the thing again? Hold on, let me just make sure. I, I don't want to butcher this, just to make sure. Um, it's basically a... Keyblade wielder who's to, who basically who's to come to the darkness basically. So basically, because Aqua fell into darkness, she be, she's to come to the darkness, right? And she's become how she looks. So it probably could end up being her, or maybe it's another character that we don't know of yet. Um, that's what I can think of at least. Um, but yeah, I mean it could be Aqua, but something tells me that that one Darkling could be somebody different because Aqua's also on the cover of the game, right? So, who knows exactly for sure. Um, that's the thing, I kind of don't want to really know who the Dark Thing actually could end up being. I mean, it could end up being Akko, like I, like everyone's speculating, but uh, it could be somebody entirely different on top of that, and they probably may play a, a huger role uh, around the end of the game, right? So, um, we'll definitely have to wait and see how that all plays out, but uh, that's the one thing I kind of want to know who it is, because uh, something tells me Square will probably release a trailer at some point and uh, showcase who it is. So, yeah. That makes me believe he's uh, swearing pe people on Twitter. Like that. Oh, never mind. Uh, time travel, Andy, it explains everything? Maybe, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're probably right. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think, like, for now, my speculation is that the Darkling definitely is probably somebody entirely different, but it could end up being Aqua, because Aqua makes a lot of sense, because, yeah, she's, uh... She's basically a, she's basically filled with darkness in her now, so and that's why she's got the red hand and everything like that, and that pretty much can confirm that it is definitely her. So, yeah. I hear Darkling, and the only thing I can think of on the Darkling is from Joel. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so. So thank you for the question there, I appreciate that, and, um, yeah, I think that's it, yeah, we don't got any more questions here, that should be, that should do her. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that's it, so that's it for the uh, Q&A session, so thanks for everybody for sending in questions. If you ever have a future question that you'd like to ask uh, for a future uh, podcast, all you need to do is, if you ever, ever here on my channel, I'll go to my chat. And whenever beatdown bots in the chat, make sure to use the fan exclamation mark Ask Andy, and then we can send you questions uh, for future episodes of the monthly beatdown podcast and whatnot. Uh, there probably might be more podcast or might might be more questions during the actual anniversary cast because uh, I definitely do like a little talking to the chat kind of section um, after the whole thing is almost basically done and over with and whatnot. So yeah, but uh, if you have a future question for podcast episode. Uh, that's what you can do. You can just send me a question by using the command ask me for ask Andy uh, whenever I'm online here on Twitch, and then you can post. You can go to that Google Doc and post a question there and whatnot. Or if you're on um, on um, a Discord or whatever, I do post it in there as well. The, the link to that and uh, on my Facebook and my Twitter and all those places as well. That's where you can all, uh, send me and whatnot. And I'll read them and answer them for you on here on the stream so yeah but like i said uh please don't send anything like uh people saying stuff like say, or say, like sending me messages or whatever through it or just sending me links and stuff through there uh, because i don't consider those questions anymore i used to read them but i kind of just want like just questions to answer here for uh the q a session so uh those kind of things will always get deleted now off the uh the google doc now so um you can send me uh, gag questions and whatnot uh or joke questions or whatever. I don't mind reading those, um, but uh, don't like uh, uh, send in like other stuff like, like, like stuff like let's say, uh, for example, it's like it's, it's this this is from this person. They say, oh hello there. Like I'm I'm just gonna delete that basically. Or hey look at this stuff and whatnot. And that, and what and that and then don't ask a question or anything. Um, I'll be deleting those basically for uh, future uh, Q and A sessions. Basically, just so. I'm only getting, uh, receiving questions and not just people saying hi or whatever. Um, if you do have something you'd like to let me know or whatever, you can always DM me all that stuff too, because I can definitely, uh, I'll definitely read them there and whatnot. So, those are ways you can always do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think with that, 
that wraps up our episode of the monthly beatdown podcast so not a very long one this month um there's gonna be more stuff talked about during the anniversary show so a lot of stuff i didn't touch upon here i will be talked about then so come by on october 14th and uh there will be some news and announcements that are uh, going on there so I'm on by for that, so it should be a good one. Um, yeah, and so that will wrap it up. Uh, so thanks for me coming by. Uh, we talked about um, our... Uh, we gave our shout-outs to our subscribers, which thank you very much, guys. We are currently sitting at 30 subscribers in total right now, which is probably the most I've ever personally had so far since I've had the sub button. So thank you for everybody who subscribed during the month of September. During uh, September, I appreciate that. For anyone who gift got gifted a sub or whatever, I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, we talked about our month recap on our very uh, quieter month of September, basically. Uh, so, yeah, it was a very, very... Uh, it was still a pretty decent month, though, I must say. It was very, very awesome, even though uh, I didn't stream too much often in September compared to uh, the past months. So, it was basically my uh, my break month, basically, where I took a, bit, took a uh, bit of a a break from casting for a bit. And I think it was for the better. I, I do feel a little more rejuvenated and whatnot uh, to come back to casting because i definitely was in need of a bit of a break so thank you um, i do appreciate everybody for uh sticking with me even though i did take a break i know sometimes when i do take a break people they kind of just run away or whatever so it is what it is but if you do stick around thank you very much for that um we also show we also talked about our um our month plans for the month of October. We showcased our games I bought for the month, our schedule of the month of October, which, like I mentioned again, would can destine to change if anything happens. So, um, yeah, so just if I ever mention anything on Twitter or whatever like that, or Discord, I will mention if anything changes for the schedule or whatever. But it should be okay for what we got for the schedule for this month. So everything that I've announced should be what it should be. So, yeah. Um, we also talked about uh, some Mario Kart updates and whatnot. We have about uh, regarding Mario Kart Seven, in fact, including another Mario Kart game, which will be talked about during the uh, the anniversary show. So come on by for that for more information on that. Um, we also we also um, uh, talked about the anniversary cast and whatnot and whatnot. And uh, we also had our cast of the month, which once again is New Legacy Inc. So. Uh, go check them out if you're into wrestling stuff. They are pretty hilarious in my opinion. And um, yeah, and then we did our Q and A session for the month of September. So yeah, so that yeah guys, that's with that. That's gonna do it for the month of uh, September or no, no September and for the look for for the month of October here. And that was our and this was our October 2018 channel update for the monthly beatdown podcast. Um yeah, so next time we'll be doing a monthly beatdown podcast episode. Will be episode 26. And uh, we will be here for the November 2018 channel update on uh, Monday, October 29th, 2018. So it should be a good one. So, yeah, hope to see everybody come out for that. But, um, yeah. Um, but after tonight, after this, uh, my next cast will actually be on Thursday, October 4th. And uh, we'll be here with Late Night Beatdown. So I hope to see everybody come by for that. So it should be a good one. So we'll be doing Smash Bros. And... Uh, a viewer's choice game that you guys can vote for uh what gets played for that so yeah but um anyways that's gonna wrap it up uh if you enjoyed this month's edition of the monthly beatdown podcast if you're watching this on youtube make sure to give it a like in the give a like yeah by clicking the like button down there uh, also make sure to subscribe to me on youtube for more uh stuff from my streams and also follow me on twitch uh it's down below in the twitch description or the uh, youtube description there and you can click the link and i will uh you'll get rejected to my channel there and you can follow me there and uh yeah it should be awesome and um yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, make sure to uh, send them in the comments down below or whatever. Or if you're on Twitch or whatever, uh, you can send them to me on my Discord or my other social media or whatnot, and I'll be happy to happy to answer them there. So, yeah. And if you have a future question for the Q&A, like I said, use the command ask Andy in my chat box here. And, uh, yeah, you go to the Google Doc and you can send me a question there. Make sure to leave your a name and a... Uh, a question if you have something to ask so and i'll read them in the next edition of the monthly beatdown podcast so yeah but uh, with that that'll do it for the month of october it was uh a month, uh, the month of october's 2018 channel update i should say and uh looking forward to streaming for october i'm back to looking forward to being back to streaming normally as i normally have and uh yeah it should be a good month because we're starting up a new season basically and uh we're in the middle of the Empty Walthon Marathon, and just a lot of things are happening, that's for sure. So um, October should be a good one. So hope to see everybody come by for a lot of the streams, including the Anniversary Castle, which once again is coming to you live for Sunday, October 14th, 2018. 
And, uh, yeah, it should be a good one. So, yeah, guys, with that, that's going to do it. So thanks for everybody coming by. I, I appreciate it. If you're, watching this on, uh, if you're watching this live here on Twitch, and if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. And we'll see you all on the next edition of the Monthly Beatdown Podcast, which, once again, is coming to you live here uh, uh, Monday, October 29th, 2018. But I hope to see you all also on the next stream here on the channel, which will be in a couple days for Late Night Beatdown. So, yeah, it should be awesome. Until So, yeah, until then, you guys have a great night. And I hope everyone has a strong and awesome October. And also, if you don't, if I don't see it until then, or the, for the whole month, I wish you all a happy Halloween. And uh, yes, maybe we'll get some spoopy stuff for the channel uh, when we get closer to Halloween and whatnot. So maybe stay tuned for all that stuff. So yeah, but with that, that's going to do it. So thanks for coming by and watching. And we'll see you all next time on the next stream here and the next podcast. So until then, you guys take care and have a good one. Bye-bye, guys.